this is Mr. Baker from East Mesa Karate, and you're listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show. Yes, 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 yes,
Machines to kill people and decide who to kill.
one, two. You hear some voice? Microphone tonight. Um, I'm hoping it's working. Is it working? Let me know. Is it? Uh, does it sound good? Yes. No. Maybe. Machine needs to come up. Okay. I'll figure that out um, after the next song. All right. I'm going to have to re uh, reiterate what I was uh, doing a little while ago. I, I, I was I wanted to talk about something and I was unable to do that because my microphone decided not to work. So I'm like really up on it right now. I'm going to fix the EQ of that after this. Uh, so kick back, relax and let's listen to Messer. It's a Texas band. They're really cool. And it's a song called Simple Man. Oh, 
metal meat bags. I don't know if you can hear me. Looks like the volume is still really low. Let me see if I can crank it up here. Check one, two. Doesn't seem to be working very well, but um, I really got something to talk about tonight. And um, it, it's really important. How's the volume there, boss? Can you hear it? It's low. All right. I'm going to figure out what the hell is going on with this. At least I got it to work. I mean, it's really, it's a, let me check another uh, thing here. Let's see here. Oh, volume mixer. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to crank something up real quick here to see if this works. Um, uh, one, two, check one, two, check one, two levels. Oh, that's why. Here we go. This is going to crank it up. One, two, check one, two. Whoa, too much. <laughs> All right, check one. Ooh, still hot. Check one, two, one, two. Uh, whoa. All right, how's the volume on that? What about now? Okay, here we go. Now, this is something that, that um, I have experienced back in the 90s, 80s and 90s. All right, cool. Thanks, brother. Back in the 80s and 90s, I experienced what I'm about to talk to you about, okay? And um, I thought it was gone, okay? See, I've been in the industry for about 30, 35 years now, okay? I've been playing in and out of Arizona for, I don't know, probably 20 or 20 or 21 of those years, okay? In and out of several bands. Um, nobody bands, you know, I'm no nobody. That's apparently what it's all like uh, right now, still in some of these venues here. Um, I mean, but one would think that in these rough times, when venues are struggling to stay alive, that childish games that were once played in the 80s and 90s would come to a complete stop, you know? I mean, well, that's just not true. What I'm talking about to you is flat out rude and disrespectful to every band out there that does not headline in these particular venues. I will say this, if we were ever to play this particular venue again, we will be using our own sound man. So that, so, you know, that is just a disrespectful act that, that won't happen again. You know, it, it just, it won't happen again because we're going to, from now on, if, if we ever do play that again, we're going to bring our own sound man because uh, what really concerns me though is that this is even happening at all. In the local scene. I mean, I could see it, you know, if, if you're opening up for, you know, Lamb of God or something and they want them to sound, you know, incredibly awesome, you know, so the, so, you know, but it's, it's okay. It's <laughs> folks, you're probably asking, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> well, first off, I want to say that I'm a seasoned musician, not some child that that uh, just got back from Guitar Center with a new guitar, practiced a few times in a garage, and went out and play a gig, okay? I mean, I've been in the Arizona scene for 30, 35 years, and, and what's what happened to these two warm-up bands should never happen again, okay? Um, what I'm talking about here is, well, it's called the old headliner pump, or the headliner push or bump, okay? It's when you pull back the quality and volume of the sound on the opening acts and pump it up, bump it up, or push it up on the headliner act. Now, the headliner in this case was a very good band, and I, when I get through music, will be spinning it on the Dust Bowl Metal Show. It has nothing to do with the band. It has everything to do with the sound man and the people that control the event at this uh, particular venue. Now, I was sick to hear <clears throat> that this happened to two Arizona bands, one being Two in the Chest and the other one being Primate Picnic. Okay, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what the Dust Bowl Metal Show is all about, people. It's about promoting and supporting Arizona metal. That's why I put the Dust Bowl Metal Show together. And that's why I play 99% Arizona metal music only. And two Arizona bands were disrespected big time last night. And from what I hear, this particular venue does this quite often. I have not experienced this level of disrespect since 1992. In any other venue that Two in the Chess has ever performed in, at all, we've never, never seen it, you know, since, since 92. But that's not to say it didn't happen in those venues that we played. But then again, we did not have a set of eyes and ears at the soundboard at those other places. 
But in closing, I would like to say right now, on a local level, if this continues to happen, the places that use this low level, low quality, disrespectful practice are only hurting themselves because out with the local, without the local musician, most of these people would be out of business. So if Two in the Chest or Primate Picnic or God knows any other band in Arizona ever performs in a venue again, we will, well, Two in the Chest anyway, we will have our own sound man. You can bet your ass on that because I'm telling you right now, when I heard what happened at that soundboard, I was blown away. Now, I can see, you know, if I'm just like a 13, 14 year old kid, you know, and, and I just got out of the garage and I'm a brand new band and this is my first show. Yeah, I can I can see maybe putting them down a little bit, you know, but I, I don't believe in that at all. OK, I'm a seasoned musician. You don't need to disrespect me and slap me in the face like that. That's just flat out disrespectful. You know, and, and we had people up at the board, so we heard what was going on. They pulled the sound back halfway. And they, you know, they removed the quality of the sound, you know, by tweaking a, a, a different uh, EQs and stuff like that. And then when the headliner band got on, they pumped it up and fixed the EQs. So they sound like, you know, CD quality. You know, that's just disrespectful, okay? Uh, wouldn't you want every band that plays in your venue to sound pristine, to sound crisp and awesome? Wouldn't, don't you want that? By doing what you do, you're only disrespecting and downgrading your own venue because you're letting bands go on stage that sound like shit because you allow your sound man to screw up the sound for the warm-up acts. Now, first of all, I want to tell you right now that we were the first band to go on because, Air was, because Two in the Chest takes a long time to set up. Some of you guys that know who we are, know that we are a full concept band and it takes a little time for us to get set up you know so that's just the way it is you know i mean if you can't accommodate our time then we'll be more than happy to have the nine o'clock slot we have no problem with that at all you know that's when most shows start anyway but that's my rant um it has uh doesn't reflect you know two in the chest or or Dust Bowl Metal Show, or Metal World Radio. It's just my rant. I was just really pissed off when I had somebody walk up to me and tell me exactly what happened. And I know the people that were involved in it. And I'm not going to mention any names because that's not you know, the type of guy I am. All I'm going to say is, the next time we play that venue, if there is a next time, we will be bringing our own sound man you can bet your ass on that all right so without further ado we're going to finish up the show we got about another 35 minutes uh let's see here we're going to play something really cool i just had somebody from new zealand message me they said hey you should check out this band right here and i said hey okay email me the song and i'll get it on the radio now i've never heard this song before guys so i don't know the quality of it i don't know uh anything about this band but what i do know is i told them that i would play it before the show slipped up a little while back and here i am i'm gonna play it it uh, looks like a band called new way home i believe and the song is called mirror i'm not sure but i think that's it okay so without further ado we are going to uh Finish the show up here, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you on the other side, you metal meat bags. This is the Reverend Black Jack McBride from Two in the Chest. And Dagmar Jordanson from Two in the Chest. And Lefty McCray from Two in the Chest. And you're listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show. <laughs>
This is Christian Lee, guitar and vocals from Sectus, and I listen to the Dust Bowl Metal Show.
from right the fuck in. Surprise coming to you. <laughs> Double shot, shot, shot.
right, that was Death Awaits. I've been trying to get their music for a while now. Um, they had a couple of free downloads on Reverb. I grabbed it. I was talking to them last night at that venue that we got bent over and shafted at. Um, but that's all right. Even with a man down and half the volume, we still rock the freaking house. Anybody that was there can attest to that. Peace, love, and two in the chest, all you metal meat bags. Anyway, um, we have a little contest going on. Um, we're going to start doing this. This will be the second month. Uh, as we, we hold a contest uh, to see how many votes um, certain bands get on the uh, Dust Bowl Metal Show page there on Facebook. And uh, what we do is... I put up I put eight bands up there this time and uh, <clears throat> people go and they hit like on that particular band now the band with the highest votes becomes the next featured artist of the month well I happen to have your winner for you this month or for the month of April right now it is um, I can't even think of who it is uh, who's the featured artist of the month? Oh, man, I feel like such a dork. I've been promoting it all month long. Altered Silence, that's it. Altered Silence is the featured artist of the month for the entire month of March. Next month is going to be this band. Okay, first up we have um, the eight bands I put up there were Arvin's Garden, Beyond Faded, Chemicals of Democracy, Death Grip, Quorum, Iconoclast, uh, Mechanics of the Mind, and Mechanical Men. Okay. Uh, in second place, which will be the featured artist of the month, uh, I'll be moving the second and third place guys over to the voting session of uh, May's featured artist of the month. So Mechanical Men was in second place. They'll be moved on the voting section for the uh, featured artist of the month for May. And Mechanics of the Mind will be moved over as well, okay? Um, the winner and the next Featured Artist of the Month for the entire month of April is none other than Arizona's own Death Grip. Yeah, baby! And from what I understand, they got some new music on the way. So as soon as I get that new music, it will be spun on the Dust Bowl Metal Show. You can bet your freaking sweet little patooties. Was that gay? <laughs> Anyway, uh, congratulations, Death Grip. You are April's Featured Artist of the Month, so I need you to email me with everything that you want on that page. I will go to your um, Reverb Nation page, and I will grab the HTMLs for your player, uh, for your video player, for your music player. Um, I will grab a email, uh, email the sign-up list for that. I will grab a map that shows your next shows um, and stuff like that. So... I will also grab a bunch of pictures from your uh, Facebook page and stuff like that. But if there's anything special that you want on that entire page that will be dedicated to you for the entire month of April, make sure you send it to rbjm.dbms at live.com. That's rbjm.dbms at live.com. And I will get that page set up for you. You can look for it on April 1st. Uh, it should be right at midnight, should be done if I don't get into trouble like I did last month. It took me two days to get it uh, all ready to go because I was so doggone busy. But uh, it doesn't look too too bad this month. So um, by April 1st, uh, midnight, you will be on there. And because Google is so slow, um, it won't start showing up on the share section of it uh, for probably two, three, four days. But once that happens, you can share, 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 and it'll always say Featured Artist of the Month, Death Grip. So this month has been Altered Silence. You guys were fantastic. I hope you got a lot of likes and a lot of new fans out of it. Uh, and you definitely got a lot of plays because the Featured Artist of the Month gets a triple shot each and every time we play the Dust Bowl Metal Show. So every week you get a triple shot. So you can't freaking beat that with a stick if you ask me. Um, but anyway, congratulations again to Death Grip, and uh, 
All right, back to some more music. Uh, we're going to be doing some Empire of Desire, uh, Evasion, Fifth Density, and we're going to do a double shot of Andromeda Theory. I was sent a couple of tracks from these guys. They're really good. I enjoyed the music, so I'm going to give them a double shot because I promised them last week I would, and I didn't have enough time to do it, so I felt so doggone bad. I'm going to give them a double shot. So let me see what things are going on here. Uh a uh, bunch of messages going on here over here on the Metal World Radio. You should come and join us um, on the MetalWorldRadio.com webpage. That's where um, we go to chat. Uh, a lot of people have uh, gone to the DustBowlMetalShow.com chat, but uh, I'm not there. So if you want to talk to me, and uh, since I'm the DJ, uh, <laughs> uh, come over to metalworldradio.com and and and, and uh, join the chat. Um, Chris, since you are on, I was uh, I was having a rough time earlier, man. My mic wouldn't work. Uh, uh, everything just dropped out. I had to reload the entire freaking console. It, it was a scary piece of equipment. Good thing I had a bunch of stuff already preloaded because it kept playing. But uh, I figured out the system, and here we are, mic working. Um, so, again, one last time, I would like to congratulate Death Grip for being the featured artist of the month for the entire month of April on the Dust Bowl Metal Show. All right, guys, let's get back to some more music. I got, uh, like I said, Empire of Desire, Evasion, Fifth Density, and Andromeda. I may or may not throw a few more on there. Uh, if you are listening and you would like to hear something uh, from Arizona, let me know. Chances are I have it. I've got 127 bands now on the uh, in the Dust Bowl Metal Show song bank. So there you have it. There it is. And let's get this party started, you metal meat bags. This is the Reverend Black Jack McBride, and you're listening to the Dust Bowl Metal Show and Metal World Radio, where music is a universal language. Got me here. 
Okay, well, it's the same song with two different names. How about that, huh? (laughs) Uh, Let's not do that. I don't want to listen to it again. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Let's try that one more time. What do you say? Uh Let's try this. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, you friggin' meatbags? Check this out. If I can get it to work. There we go. Nope. See, it's the same thing. What's up with that? That's weird. Okay, well, we're going to move on to something else. How about this? 
No, not that. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out if it freaking kills me, man. <laughs> All you guys that are still with me, which is not very many, uh, I'm glad you have some patience. See, this is only my, you know, I think third show on this new console. I've never looked at so many windows in my freaking life, but uh, uh, we're going to get this figured out. So uh, please bear with me. And uh, here we go. Uh, let's see here. It should play right away. Here we go. Let's try. There it is.
do you see when you look at me? Do you see the man or the child with them?
right, you metal meatbags. This is the Reverend Blackjack McBride, guitar player, singer for the world's only rustic metal band, the host of the Dust Bowl Metal Show and Metal World Radio, where music is a universal language. All right, guys, it's been a great, long, and very tireless and painstaking, heart pounding night because of all the issues that I had with my freaking microphone. But we finally figured it out, and here we are. So, um, with all that said, it's been a long night, 12.30, went over 34 minutes so far. We're going to close out the show with a band called Hounds of Tindalos, with their song Self-Inflicted. But before that, I want to remind all you metal meatbags out there, I don't give a crap where you live. Support the local metal in your area. That's important. It's the local band that keeps the metal music in the scene alive. Get out and support some music. Uh, We played a show uh, Wednesday night. And you know what I've seen there? I've seen five different bands come out and see us play. That's who came out. The bands, five different metal bands, and their wives and friends that's who came to see us other metal bands where are the fans at with there were some fans that came out don't get me wrong yes there was many well actually it was quite a few <laughs> for a wednesday night we were kind of freaked out you know it's kind of cool but um yeah mostly it was just the bands from around town coming to see us play so um that's just get out there okay you owe it to your local musician to go out and support them okay just get out and support local music. It don't matter where it is or where you go. It doesn't, it, you're going to find a cool band because, I mean, I've got like 127 now. And they're all freaking kick ass, man. So uh, you can't miss. Anyway, the featured artist of the month right now for a few more days is. See, I can't. Th- altered Silence. <laughs> I got a shitty brain. I'm getting old. Well, 159 years old. Anyway. Uh, Altered Silence is the uh, featured artist of the month for the rest of the month of March. April. April gives birth to a new featured artist of the month, and that birth is Death Grip. Yeah, that's right, folks. Death Grip for a whole month is going to be the featured artist of the month. That means triple shots every single week. Yes, that's right, folks. Triple shots. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. We will see you next Thursday night at 9 p.m., you meatbags.